Welcome back to Ghoster Coasters, everybody, and today we have some news on what seemed to be the inevitable. Top Thrill 2 will remain closed for the rest of the 2024 season, and yeah, that's pretty disappointing. We'll share an update, and you know, it's, this isn't uh, this isn't like a summer long thing, right? So it's a little temporary thing. So we'll, we'll we'll provide an update on our website and our socials when it's time to open it back. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the spooky community today. And stay tuned for our spooky Ghoster Coast and Halloween specials coming soon. After a long few months of downtime, speculation, testing, anticipation, whatever words you can think of, we finally have the final nail in the coffin for the 2024 season in Top Thrill 2. Cedar Point released a statement today confirming their disappointment, offering a sorry for the inconvenience, and thank guests for their continued support. This has been the first update since June 3rd, a few days before Coaster Mania, and a lot of guests were starting to wonder if it could even reopen this year. Zamparla marketed this coaster as one of the best roller coaster trains designed for the amusement industry, and now we have questions if Zamperla will be building any new major rides in the coming years for any parks because, well, this is a failure by Zamperla completely to deliver on their product's promise. Many have held out hope, us included, that they would get it right, but it seems that the trains were not designed to handle the forces that Top Thrill 2 was giving, and this could be because of the old track. Which again, leads us to question why they didn't just retract the entire ride in the first place. But seriously, the oversight of this ride's outlook is kind of crazy looking back at it now. Zamperla never built a ride taller than 130 feet or so. Getting the chance to revamp Top Thrill 2 with the promise of the lightning trains delivering a new experience and design so easy to work on parks would be clamoring for them. Right? We can say for certain now that the issues with the train were far more concerning than just a slight modification. If it's taking this long to figure out, and I mean the whole entire season, we have to wonder just what was wrong with these trains. There are a number of questions heading into the 2025 season, and we anticipate the ride reopening when they figure out the train situation. But we have to wonder if there are any parties interested in some ramifications for contracts and undelivered promises. Beyond our scope, but you have to wonder with the ride being open for a mere week, it was not delivered as advertised to be more reliable, it's actually been quite the opposite, and a much worse opening year for Top Thrill 2 than the original Top Thrill Dragster had. Another question many people have asked is why did they double down on a coaster that had been a problem for 19 seasons, sunk another double investment into reimagining the ride when it already had a litany of issues, why the park didn't remove Top Thrill Dragster altogether and just build something else. We assumed Dragster would stay, so we're not in the camp of why didn't they tear it down. But Dick Kinzel stated it was his biggest regret ever. So having another management team double down on it and the ride end up with a worse opening season than its predecessor definitely makes people wonder why the ride stuck around. Now for the remainder of the season. What about the people who bought Fastlane Plus all season on the premise of rewriting Top Thrill 2 a bunch of times? Again, lots of questions to be asked about the ride's future and how it's been handled over the past few months, but at least we have solid conclusion in the ride. It just stinks seeing all the Top Thrill 2 merch, all the months that included commercials, hearing about riding Top Thrill 2, and just walking by and standing there wondering when it would reopen. And we anticipate Cedar Point will be doing everything in their power to get it open by the start of next season. As for Zamperla, I think they have more questions to answer than rides to be building at the moment. And that's unfortunate for such a big swing and ultimate miss. Thanks for sticking around for the coverage the past few weeks, and we anticipate dropping a Top Thrill 2 follow-up documentary with all of this downtime covered, hopefully up to the point the ride reopens. But let us know if you want an in-depth documentary about the downtime and closure of the ride. We may just drop it before it reopens, cause that's a while away. A huge shout out goes out to all of our channel members and Coaster Ghosts and producers for helping bring all of this content and coverage of Top Thrill 2 to the channel. From CP Coaster Lover, Droko Adventures, who everyone should go subscribe to right now, and our buddy DJ Theme Park for keeping us in the loop on clips so often. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm sure the Top Thrill 2 story isn't over just yet, and we'll be sure to cover anything that happens over the next few months with the ride as well. You know, if you're catching our drift here. As always, thank you for being a part of our spooky community and, and for Coaster Ghosting with Ghoster Coasters. Coasters. Come on, Top Thrill 2.